Welcome back, guys. We got another clock we got from Goodwill, and it's got a few problems, I think. Let me show you. Here's the clock I got. This here is, came undone from the roof, and the other side needs some help. So we'll just set it on there for now and give you a measurement for the way they measure clocks. They usually measure from the highest point, which is the top of the bird's head. And I'd say we're so close, it's 15, it could be 15 and a quarter, but I'm just going to call this 15. And the top piece is about 10 and a half inches. This came with, besides this top, I'm going to say these weights are uh, 320 at least, 330, something like that. I haven't weighed them yet, there's two of them. It did come with the pendulum, and it came with the hands that are broke, and looks like it came with the nut and washer that go to the hands, which is nice to get those too, especially if it's an older clock. And coming with the pendulum and the crown, this clock is actually probably worth buying for this. Well, it depends on what price you have to pay for it. But these crowns, especially when they start getting bigger, if they happen to have the right color or the right leaf and not an oak leaf, because this doesn't have oak leaves. Oak leaves are hard to get a hold of when it comes to a crown and the right size. But these things could range from $20 to $30, $40. So pay attention when you're buying these. Maybe look online and this is over on eBay where you might be able to find the crowns. Anyway, this clock came with the chains wrapped around the leaves. So let's go ahead and take this apart. Now I, I already see that we're cracked here, or not cracked, it's actually broke. Right there, it's split. So I'll probably go ahead and pull this and then glue this back together again because I want to try to get this wood as even as possible so the crack will disappear, I, I'm hoping. The bird is disconnected, but I see the bird inside. Now on these clocks, the detail is, is what counts and which, I don't know if this is considered a one, two, three, four, five leaf or if they actually six, seven, call that a seven leaf clock. And it also has the two birds. What makes these clocks a little more valuable? This here has better detail on it. Really split here nice. And these leaves actually have some, I've seen them with stronger detail but they do have a nice depth to them so that brings the value of this clock up let's see what kind of surprise we have in I here. just noticed these numbers have been glued on and they're really warped they didn't know what they're doing I guess and they glued them on so I have to put new uh, numbers on here and get them on there straight There's a easy re-nailed back into place. This does have staples right here. So it's not that old of a clock uh, compared to some of my clocks that are over 50 years old. So I'll take a screwdriver and just pop this open. A 
looks like they kind of tried to, from the factory, fill that hole up. It, that hole doesn't make any difference. It's on the back side. It does have a good gong to it. It's not touching anywhere. It's a good thing it has the bellow in here. So that way I can replace it without any worries. It has the wires on here so I can, well, besides know where it's supposed to be located. So also I can uh, figure out, or don't have to figure out where the wire needs to go. And of course this wire would go to this side because usually it's this side that raises the bird. And here's the other one they tried taping on at one time. So set those aside. Now, these, what I like about this is it's got the longer whistle box, so it should be a deeper tone. I'm just going to measure to the plate of the bellow itself. And, well, the whistle box, they're approximately four and a half inches long. And I don't know if you can see that or not, but it, it is a bit dirty. In fact, it feels oily. So whether someone sprayed something in there or whether that's just from the factory, I don't know. This is a regular, has a 20 right there. And does say GM and has some numbers on there. Seven, one seven zero five two nine four if that means anything to anybody here it says made in germany and that's about it in there now on this one i noticed the cuckoo bird is over on that side the rod is compared on this side it normally is so when that was changed or like i say how old this clock is i have no idea And it does have these metal, so you'd open and close it. Like I say, when they start putting these staples in, what year, I have no idea. This here gave me a feel of age, and that might be just it. It's just a feel of age. This is beveled, so it does go clear in and it's supposed to shut. It does have a nice hinge on here which normally you're not getting in here. It does help sometimes to do some fine tune adjusting. This side doesn't have one. Which it almost makes me believe this works that's in here is older only because, which I'll show you once I get it out, there's a rod in there you can trigger and make it cuckoo so the hands are already off the birds unhooked it's already did part of my job this here does not have a oh maybe there's a chance at right there which is a little odd but there might be a hole there for a wire so you lock the doors shut if you wanted to. Take these chains off. And then we'll start taking the whistle boxes out. Now I did notice this looks like it's a bigger chain than a one day clock. I don't know, it could be the age or it could be a 30 day clock, I have no idea. I do know sometimes when you order chains for your clock that some places will say you have so many links per inch so that way you get the right size chain. Also I noticed they have the smaller hook which is meant for the, I call this the older weight because it has the wire poured, poured or set into the uh, mold when it was made. 
but it's meant to go over a wire. Yeah, let's see, do I have a newer weight here? This is a newer weight, and these here don't go in there. You'd have to get the modern one, which is a bigger uh, hook on there than what this is. I notice the wires are missing to the bellows, and that don't doesn't make any difference to me because I have new wires here. You can order the wires from a, a clock parts place. I got two places I normally order all my stuff from because they're reasonable compared to some places. It's nice that this clock, these bellows are not glued in. Sometimes, some, I don't know if it's some of the factories or the people who do it themselves, they glue the bellows in and you have a heck of a time getting them off without damaging it. And all you have is a screw on the side. When you go to put it back together again, make sure you hit the screw. It's the same hole because you don't want any more holes in the whistle box than what's already in there. Because you want all the air to come out of the whistle itself. So the next step is let's see we already I already undone the chain but I'm going to leave the chain on because I want to test this clock out a little bit to see if it'll even uh, try to cuckoo or move the rods that makes the cuckoo work I also want to see if the pendulum will move see how froze up this clock is so let me go ahead and take those four screws out and I'll be back screws out let's move this pendulum wire in Let's take this thing out. There we go. Now another thing I'm going to mention is this where the works hooked on they didn't have the little blocks in there because this face here is thick enough it can handle the screws that i'm poking all the way through and then you notice the bird it's a lot thicker than most other birds so that's what they consider maybe a a better 3d look for the birds i noticed this bird it's cracked open in here it's supposed to be glued down and there's a chance well it looks like I'm going to re-glue it down that's all it needs I was thinking maybe that's how you can get the bird out, out of there but I don't want the bird off of there I just want to take the whole face off so I can re-glue it Yeah, it seems to be smooth. I don't know if you can see that going around or not. Now I do have a wire coming through here. It's a we'll call it a spring wire that is pushing down on this. Some some don't have it. It's nice. I think it's nice because if the clock won't normally stick if you have. A decent wire in there as a spring to bring it back down so this side is the ticking side it does tick if you get going again which is nice so there's a chance this clock might have ran but as dirty as it is I I don't know how long it would have ran. Let me go ahead and pull this chain out. And 
And now I'll go ahead and take the bird off and then we'll take this thing apart. Let me see if I can get you to see this a little bit better. Get a pointer here. Right there is where it says uh, Regula. Made in Germany, 20, and then there's a GM with the number on it. That's the only markings I can see through all this oil and dirt. And I've never seen it on the front side. Now, I don't know if you can see or not, but this has got either dog hair or cat hair in here, just your normal dust that flies around. It could have kitchen oils on here because maybe it was too close to the kitchen. You don't want your cuckoo clock works to be anywhere near the kitchen because even if you have a fan, that there fan doesn't suck up all the smokes and oils and with an open cuckoo clock, that's exactly where it'll go is inside your clock. So let me get this thing apart and get it ready for the cleaner. I almost forgot to mention, when you're getting ready to, if you take one of these apart, then you should go ahead with your phone or a camera, get a picture of the front, the back, the two sides, and make sure you have plenty of light so you can see in here and give you an idea of what that gear looked like and where it possibly should have gone or should be going. And another thing that's important too, notice where the cuckoo bird would be coming out. Now I haven't seen this tight, but you want to get a picture of that exactly so you know how it goes in there. And which this one here, of course, there's a leg here that holds the frames together. It has to do with inside there, and then, of course, the cuckoo bird s slips back and is able to uh, hit that. Now, this wire here, or not wire, but lever, we'll call it. I haven't seen one of these. Well, I haven't even seen a works like this, but this here I thought was giving me some dates, too. So possibly in the comments, I'll have someone give me an idea, maybe with the numbers I give them, to give me a date of this clock here. Right here's a, a spring that brings the cuckoo in and out. And actually the spring is wrapped around the rod here, wrapped around the shaft and they wrapped it around there. Let me see if I can help show you that a little bit. Which there again, I haven't seen anything like that before. So let me get my pictures taken and tear this thing apart. Okay, checking this out after I got it out, which this is all the farther I'm going to take it apart. I don't plan taking the cam off. I'm not going to take this apart. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, as far as I've went so far, I'm happy with this, where I'm at. 
I also can't get these screws out and I'm not gonna force them either I don't like the idea of my spring to the bird uh, going through the cleaner and the sonic part but if I have to I'll either replace it or I might have to take this off and then give it another wrap or so to tighten it up to get a decent spring that I got right now we'll get these all in the cleaner and see what happens to them they should be better than what they are right now okay I'm in the process of taking this case apart these here obviously aren't working too well so I plan on taking them out I'll take it off the crown also and I'm gonna probably see if I got some screws that I can screw this in place instead of the nails okay got all the numbers off they're kind of wasted I happen to have some new numbers I've ordered and I got them in stock for myself and they're the same size and when you go to cut these it helps if you know what the numbers which place they are and be careful on when you when you're cutting these that you're not going around just cutting willy-nilly because these are set up to have the right exactly the right amount that you have here to do this clock and I almost forgot this I need to glue that and I happen to have this big rubber band you can buy them or sometimes they come with produce but you don't want to get too much pressure what I plan on doing is gluing this and I'm gonna go from here to here with this rubber band to hold it together because I don't need a great big clamp because this is fragile wood I just want to get them together and try to make them look nice by the looks of it this might not go together perfectly because it is a little bit warped but we're gonna go ahead and glue it and get this thing going before it's too late let's say well I'm messing with this clock I might as well do that part first myself a little bit of glue here I put on the end of the toothpick I don't need too much and I just dab it on just a little bit mainly in the wider places but I want to definitely get all the sides ends whatever So I just wax this. You can say that bird is so 3D. So I'm going to say this is one of the more expensive clocks by looking online, going to the actual place where they sell these clocks brand new. They talk about the heavier cuts in the leaves and the bird, like I say, he is so thick. I'll wax it then. Yeah, so far we got the numbers on. I guess the next thing we can do if we want to is start working on these bellows, get the new paper on there and I'll show you real quick but hopefully I already have a video out or look at some of my other uh, recent videos and they might even show again put these bellow papers on the easy way using super glue.
Okay, here's all the parts. As clean as I'm going to get them, I got to dry them off and then I'm going to go to bed because it's late and we'll put this together tomorrow. Okay, so I'm excited. I think I'm going to go ahead and put this together now. Off camera, of course, because it's easier for me. This has got the shaft here, so I'm just going to use the bowl like I normally do. I do have the uh, frame holders on order. Who knows when they'll get here. But for now, this here will work just fine. I, I'm hoping like it has before. So, off camera, I'm going to be looking at my phone, putting this back together the way I think I saw it on the pictures. So, I got it all back together again. And these, I have to figure out what tool it is. I have to ask Mark. Maybe he, he knows. I've kind of heard them talking about it. But I didn't understand just what they were talking about. But now that I've been running into them, I can either make the tool like they are talking about or see if I can buy one somewhere. Okay, I got the clockworks in. I got the cuckoo bird hooked up. I went ahead and installed the chain. Anyway, this here, it's been, oh, six hours at least. Okay, I got the clips that holds the crown on. And these originally were nailed in. I'm not gonna nail them in. I'm hoping these screws which I had to drill these just a little bit bigger. I'm hoping these screws are fat enough that they're gonna go in and hold a lot better than what those nails are doing. There we go. Now I put the other one on. And on these, they're both the same. So it doesn't make any difference where you put this if you're installing these instead of the tight that just kind of clips over the head, it's, it's up to you how you want to do it. Or what